take over the world. How is this ride doing? Swinging ship seems to be doing okay. It's fairly high excitement. Maybe we should put down a few more of these. Just for some filler. Why are you getting in the way, Rod? Oh, apparently I have to put it on this side. That'll make for interesting time. Swinging ship is in the damn way. Just not gonna have a line for this thing. Not even worried. People will still get on it. Balloon time. Time to start spamming balloons all across the park. You know what? Let's do cheap balloons for everyone. Everyone buy a balloon right now. Because I'm about to spam you with balloons. So that at the very end, everyone will release their balloons and clap in my honor. Balloons everywhere! I'm gonna stick another one over here. Take it down even more. So we just won't, well, we probably should earn a little bit of profit. So we can at least pay for the building. Probably about to get spammed in, in the thought section about how I don't want a balloon. I already have a balloon. I've already got a balloon. But you know what? You need more balloons. They all float down here. And you'll float too! That's an awkward path. What happened to all the riders? People got off. Well, time to drop the price. Nobody's riding. Apparently this thing is still really popular, though. I will never understand the target audience in this game. I can't even tell what gender they are. I can't tell by looking at them. They all look the same. Now we're getting some people in the door down here. What are we doing over here? Yeah, plenty of people getting on there. Over here. Perhaps we may need to lower the price even further. Get on my ride. Come on, people. You know you want to do it. Just get on there. Have another gentle ride on the way. Park fee is very cheap. That's okay. I don't need to charge an expensive park fee. I'll just sucker them into buying lots of balloons. Oh man, this guy lost his balloon. We can pop it. If you didn't know you could do that already, you can click on them and they'll pop. I don't think that works when they're holding it, though. So, we have far exceeded our objective. I came to the conclusion that go-karts are a cash cow, even though they're not really making any money at the moment. So let's drop the price. 
Guess everyone decided they didn't want to ride these anymore at that price. Western music was freaking out again. Put that price down. Maybe that will get people on. Well, I guess it needs to go lower. Still a pretty good uh, way of getting money, though. Because people do like these. They will get on them more frequently than other things. There we go. That'll get some people in the door. So around about 180 for the price. Apparently this one is broken. This one's a little bit more exciting, so I'll keep the price up just slightly. Yeah, now we got people in line for go-karts again. And apparently people have decided they don't want to ride this either. So we're taking down the price. It's alright, we're making more money on the entrance fee right now anyway. Though nobody's actually coming to the park. Very few are coming to the park. Let's see how far we can push it. I don't care what ride, any ride, pick a ride. Entry. Advertising. Free food and or drink. Burgers. Free rides on something. Just pick something at random. Where are all the people? It's a really long queue for people to get to the park. It's all the way down. A really long way. Craziness. Almost there, ladies and gents. It is mid-September. Won't be long now. But luckily, we've got our park booming. People are in line for everything. And it is a good day. Except for this thing. The hardest time getting people in line for this side of the coaster. Let me drop the price even more and see if I can get people in the door. Come on, folks. That is a steal price. Is a steal of a price for a steel coaster. No, nope, people are just being little bitches. They sure do love the monorail. That is one hell of an exciting ride. Awesome, we got people in line for that, except it just broke. It's a hell of a time to break right when the thing is moving. Let's hope they don't crash watching them just in case they do because if the rear brakes go out that can be a problem that's why you want to do inspections every 10 minutes which is something I did not set this time around it's our satisfaction rate pretty good pretty good Oh, jeez. Looks like that part is broken. So they're just flying through the station. Come on, where's the repair, man? This could be a serious problem. Let's hire another one. Just to be safe. Luckily, they're going at even intervals. Because that brake giving out is actually what will cause them to crash. Okay. Finally fixed it. With three knocks of his mighty hammer, it has been fixed. All it takes is the might of the mechanic hammer. Hammer. 
This guy's broken down too. Mechanic hammer. You are the shit. Quick, build a hedge maze before we run out of time. I don't think we have room for a hedge maze. I don't think we have room for anything. This is ridiculous. What do I do? The excitement is so low, no one's going to get on it anyway. Just have to take a pass on that one. Roller coaster one. Oh my god. What's our time looking like? Alright, to the end of September, one more month to go. How many people can we get in this tiny ass park before it's too late? We must get them all. People stop riding this thing again? No, they're in line. How much am I charging? $1.80. That's still pretty good for the investment that I put into it. It really didn't cost me very much. Let's take another figure eight somewhere. Come on, figure eight. I'm gonna cram you in there. Come on! Can I lap a figure eight with this figure eight? That'd be kind of cool. Damn you, figure eight! Why you no work? It's gonna click everywhere till this thing builds. There must be a way to stick one more figure eight in here. Somewhere. Somehow. We've gotta do it, people. We've got to do it. This must be done. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, maybe there is not a way to do it. I'm getting to get discouraged. And that's no good. Now is it? Yep, this park is stuffed to the brim. Only thing that might work is building underground. I could probably build a custom uh, go-kart track, but it's a bit too late for that now. Because we're already a part of the way through our final month. So let's just start building swinging inverter ships everywhere. Sounds like a plan. Stan. McMahon. One dollar rides for everyone on the inverter ship. These things don't take up a lot of space, so we'll just put them everywhere. Get on my inverter ship. You know you want to. Inverter ship like number 13. Just got to keep putting them down. Can I put one like way up high? That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to get an award for the park with the most inverter ships. I'm putting an inverter ship next to my inverter ship. Gratuitous amounts of inverter ships. Ho! Oh. And only a dollar. Come on down to Nevs' Park. We got the most inverter ships of anybody in the country. You know you love inverter ships. Oh, yes, I do. Just look at them go. They're all over the damn place. And they are awesome. Okay, 
I should get a special award for building all these. Come on. Tracking it up to a data. Let's see how many of these I can build in the park before our time is up. We've got almost 2,000 people in the park. That's crazy. 1,700. I mean, I guess that's not almost 2,000. And we've got the maximum park rating, too. And I know why. You know why? You know why, huh? You know why? Inverter ships. That's why. All the freaking inverter ships. I should just build a park that only has one ride in it and just build tons of that ride. I bet it would look crazy when you zoomed out. Or it could just look really bland, I don't know. I must be planning the apocalypse or something. It's too unusual for there to be this many inverter ships in one place. It's not natural. Well, that one's not very useful because I can't put a line. I can somehow miraculously fit one there. No, no, you don't get free rides. You get one dollar rides. Oh, snap, it's going down. Where else can I put inverter ships? It's our time. Oh, man, we're almost there. Quick. To the inverter ship. Damn. I stuck it the wrong way. I just have to do it like this in a not-so-fancy fashion. One dollar inverter ride. Anyone? Jeez, oh jeez, this one's gonna take too long. Inverter ship, go! What are we doing? Oh man, we just got a little bit left. Gonna make sure we're in position so we can see all the balloons go flying. Probably right about here. This is where we're going to see the most amount of people. We'll pop their balloons while we wait. Moon. It's the 29th. We're so close. I can almost smell it. You can do it! You can do it! There we go, it's the 31st. We're almost there. Kaboom! Yay! Have a park value of $52,443. Nerves. That shall be my rating of the day. Pop quick, pop the balloons. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure into Bumbly Beach, and I'll see you guys in the next scenario.